Hello everybody, this is Dave Burkus for the Burkus Report on Business. Today, part three of our series on positioning your product or your service. Today we're going to speak about pick your product niche. And in saying so, we're going to look at five areas in which you can emphasize your product or your service to the exclusion of your competition. First is price, then quality, then service, then innovation, and finally elegance. Which of those, or maybe two of those, would you prefer to emphasize to make your business completely different from, or at least apart from, your competition? Companies that compete on price rarely compete against others who emphasize service or quality. Internet resellers have a better chance to combine price and quality than those with fixed overheads in bricks and mortars companies. But it's important for the image of the company to be known for one of the above attributes. Some examples that might be uh, kind of obvious to you. Walmart is known for the lowest prices, often an identical merchandise found in other stores for more. But few of us go to Walmart for quality brands, understanding that they'll accept Walmart as a low price leader. On the other hand, Nordstrom competes on service above all, quality second, and price a very distant third. We enter Nordstrom's expecting superior service, and we know we're going to pay a price for this. Apple charges a premium for innovative products with quality second and service third. Mercedes offers a premium automobile and innovative products. That's okay, but its customers expect luxuries first, quality second, service third, and price a distant fourth. If Apple released a $229 notebook computer, it would damage the brand and reduce the value of owning an Apple computer in the minds of its existing customers. The very image of a company is influenced by this decision that we're speaking of today, as is every decision following the price positioning of a company's products. In many markets, there are poorly defended niches, even markets with dominant players. Asus found this in the notebook and the netbook market and moved in quickly to overtake all the other manufacturers with their low prices. It should be noted in passing, however, that Competing on price alone is the most dangerous strategy of all, since other well-capitalized players can easily join the competition merely by dropping their price on their existing products, sometimes just to get rid of you, and of course at the expense of their previous positioning as they had described it before. Now, Asus, a good example, was able to grab the mantle of Price King while maintaining reasonable quality and even provide a bit of innovation in the netbook arena worthy of applause by those of us market watchers looking at examples of good strategic price and positioning. That's just one company, and I know you can name more. But here it is, price positioning based upon one or more, but not all, of the things we list here. And there are more in Birkonomics the series, all of them available on Amazon, and I hope you'll take an opportunity to buy and read some of those books. Well, this is Dave Burkus, and I'll be happy to see you next time.